Hello, it's Jenny from Namisma. Welcome to another video from our starter pack. In this video, I'll be showing you how to start adding your clients onto Namisma. So from your agent dashboard, which is the first page you'll see when you log on and the page that you're looking at now, you'll see a plus icon at the top. Click on that and then go on ahead and click on new client. Once that's loaded, you can go on and ahead and choose what type of client you want to add. So for example, if I want to add a limited company, click on limited company. And you'll see that for limited companies, there are three ways that you can add clients. So you can add them manually by entering the details manually. If you want to batch upload, you can by using the um, by downloading the CSV template that we provided populate that and upload it onto Namisma. Alternatively, we are connected to company house, so you can actually just start entering the name of your company. They should come down at the bottom. Find the one that you want to add. It will pull through the information from company house, so just double reference the details and make sure it's the one that you want to add. When you're happy, click on create. So company added successfully. It's as easy as that. So now you've added your company onto Namisma. So after adding your clients from any of the ways that I've just showed you now, you'll be able to see a list of all of the clients you've added in your clients tab here. So this is the list of all of your clients. You'll see that when you add a comp a business onto Namisma, it will automatically add the bookkeeping and final accounts profile for you. This is, um, Namisma does this for you so that you don't have to do it twice for the same client. However, if you do want to say remove the bookkeeping one, you can by clicking on to the edit icon. Where it says services, you can choose, if you just want final accounts, you can just choose final accounts scroll down and then click on save. Client record updated successfully. So if I refresh this page, you'll see that the Namisma bookkeeping profile has been removed for you. Um, Similarly, if you want to add it back, you can again click onto the edit icon and then where it says services, you can choose bookkeeping and final accounts. If you want to make this client inactive as well, you can click on none and that will um, remove the client for you on the MISMA. It will make them inactive. But I'm just going to click on the keeping in the final accounts again and click save for now. So I'll refresh this page. You'll see that both of those have come back again. In order to go into the client and start doing work on the client, just simply click on to the client name. This will bring you into a new tab into your client's dashboard. And when that loads, um, as you can see from your client's dashboard, this is essentially where you can do all of the work for this one client. So it's all been laid out for you. Um, you have your bookkeeping, your sales expenditure banking, VAT, MTD, have various reports you have access to. Um, payroll is also in here. And from all of that, 
that will automatically feed into your final accounts. So this is ready for you to start doing work for your clients. For self-assessment clients, you will have to add these separately. Um, the process is very similar. Again, go back to your agent tab, click onto the add icon, new client. And from here, you can just select self-assessment. So again, for your self-assessment clients, you can add them manually or you can batch upload using a CSV file. Um, again, just remember to download the template that we provided, populate that and then upload. For the self-assessment manually, I think the details that you need are the UTR number, name, email address, the usual. Once you've populated everything, click on save. Once you've clicked on save, you will then be able to see a list of all of your self-assessment clients from self-assessment and self-assessment client list. So that's how you add clients onto Namisma. I hope this has helped. Um, if you do have any other questions, let us know. I will leave our support and contact details in the description below. Thank you for watching and hopefully speak soon.